After almost three years of waiting, there's finally an all-new MacBook, and its super thin design has caused plenty of controversy. Is this really a laptop the average person can use every day? Let's start with the most obvious point of contention, the USB Type-C port. There's only one, and it's given the dual duties of connecting peripherals and charging the battery. A headphone jack is the only other port available. If you're thinking a single port is annoying, you'd be right. We found it can be very inconvenient. Using an external mouse while charging the notebook is impossible without an adapter, for example. Now, adapters exist. A four-port USB Type-C hub can be had for about $20 on Amazon. Still, one port means the new MacBook isn't really cut out for a desktop use scenario. It's best for people who are always on the go. If you fit that niche, you'll love the system's thin profile. Uh, barely more than half an inch thick and two pounds in heft, this notebook is as thin as the original iPad and only a half pound heavier. That's even more impressive given its large 12 inch display. It's easy to use on a plane, train, or bus, even if you can only afford the economy seats. You're likely to enjoy the attention this system gets. The MacBook Air was the original laptop as fashion accessory, but the MacBook takes it to a whole new level, especially in the attention getting gold. Of course, eventually the notebook will be old news, but for now it charms everyone who lays eyes on it. The price is a bit less charming though. The $1,300 entry-level MSRP is not outrageous for an Apple notebook, but the MacBook is slower than the $900 Air and much slower than the equally priced MacBook Pro 13 or the Dell XPS 13 for that matter. It also has a tighter keyboard and slightly shorter battery life. And that's a problem. Apple's latest and greatest is an engineering feat, but it doesn't stack up well against similarly priced systems. If you need the thinnest, lightest laptop in the world, this is it. But most people will be better off spending their money on a bigger, more powerful notebook. 